to get the answer. Uh. Because our salvation has based on this. Okay, fair enough. I you like agree that. now? Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah. we need to know who the true Jesus Christ is. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter what world thinks about Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. As an individual human being, yeah. God has gifted you reasoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you can think, you can read, yeah. you, 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 you can apply all your rational faculties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you see him? Do you see him as a representative of God? Who? Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, of course. In that 100%. case, in that case, yeah. in that case, Jesus Christ mm. is a prophet of God. It, 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 it could be, it could be also, but the way us Catholics see, we see as well as the Son of God and, and the God. Right. Now, Catholic can say, I mm. mean, you can believe in anything. Mm -hmm. I say, what is make more sense? Yeah. Because in order to have a son, yeah. there is two types of son. Yeah. Biological son. Yeah, yeah. And respectful son, right? Yeah, like yeah. Uh, any, you know, you will find elder generation, yeah, they yeah. say to someone, Hello, my son, you know, yeah, yeah. even like, you know, someone yeah, older course, than yeah. you no, will course. say to you, my son, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, it doesn't make me a, a son, biological yeah, son, of course, right? yeah. Biological son is that mm -hmm. when you have a wife yeah. and through your wife you procreate and you have a children and that's your son. Yeah, yeah. So when your belief, yeah. do you believe that is it a respectful son or do you believe it's a biological son? It's biological. No, if you say biological, then I know. Then we, we, I know. Yeah, because I understand. But if you say biological, then God must have a wife. No, Does no, God have a wife? The thing is, God has a power that we don't, we cannot explain. Right. I agree. I agree. God create, God created someone. You know. You know what? I agree. Yeah. Created you know why? I George, God created. He didn't think it's God who created. Right. There I was no woman. There was nothing. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Look. Yeah. Now you are talking. Yeah. And I like it. Do you know why I like it? Uh, because you speak rationally, you speak clearly, you apply your rational faculty. Uh -huh. So if something has been created, yeah. can it be God? It was created by God. No, no, no. Created by God one thing and uh -huh. something is created. Yeah. So if I create this book, yeah, yeah. does that mean this book is a maker or am I the maker? No, you're the maker. You're right. Not. So here, clearly yeah. demonstrated that the creator, which yeah. you refer a father, yeah. he is the creator of Jesus. Look, fair enough. Oh, look, I, I know, I know where you're coming from. No, that's, that's I'm, I'm using yeah. your intellectual faculty. No, I know, I'm, I know, yeah. I know what you're saying. God is so is immense. We also don't know. We, all of us, we don't know the, the extreme of the power that I God agree. has got. I agree. So there's a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. That you can see based on common sense. Yes. You can keep on asking me and think. But there's so many things about God that you yourself, as a religious person, you still don't know. You, you know, you don't you know, know why? exactly the power of God. Even God told us uh -huh. that He is all knowing. Uh -huh. So when God said God is all knowing, what He is referring God, God said who? who uh, someone wrote, a man wrote that no, on no, behalf no. of God. Like in the scripture, whatever. Yes. It, now, do you agree God is all knowing? Yeah. Okay. If you say God is all knowing, yeah. does it mean if you look at the creation, yeah. do you think anybody possess God's knowledge? No. 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 So this is a given thing. Look, even our rationality tells us yeah. that our knowledge is nowhere near to God's knowledge. Yeah. Our power is not way near to God's knowledge. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. There is a term called anthropomorphism, okay. which means comparing human attribute with God attribute. Yeah, yeah. Now Islam set the boundary. And you know what Islam said the boundary? Mm. It gave you clarity what we should believe in. Okay. Like for example, Allah said, Qul huwa Allah wahad. Say God is one. Yeah. Allah is one. Yeah, yeah. Allah is Samad. The Allah, the eternal refuge, the yeah. self-sustaining. He sustains everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lam yalid wa lam yulat. He begets nor begotten. Means he doesn't have a father, neither mm. he has a son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wa lam yakul lahu kufu wa nahad. You cannot compare anything with God. Fair enough, yeah. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. Now we make the distinction between Jesus Christ and God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Jesus Christ can't be God on that parameter that we have. On that parameter, yes. Right. But, uh, now, ask I'll tell you why. For us I'll tell you why this should be the parameter everyone should use. Because uh. if you go back to any country, yeah. you will find people who have these intellectual faculties yeah. and they have the sign of God available there. Yeah. Now imagine if our parameter was based on scientific truth, yeah. that means God is doing injustice to these people because mm. 
a layman or a poor man would yeah. not have access to the science. Yeah. So God didn't give a, a tool or external tool. Mm. Or be, in order to believe, I need to believe in science. Yeah, 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 yeah. But God given you some of the things embedded within you, yeah, yeah. which is your rational reasoning, mm -hmm. right? And then God gives you science so that you can connect with. So yeah. whenever you look at the sun, yeah. do you say this sun was made by Jesus? Well, I, I can't tell because if, if, no. if, if we lose, if we look, there's so Based many planets. Based on the first premise, yeah. who was the creator? The creator is Jesus, isn't it? No, but I don't no, know no, if no. He, uh, God, no, 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 God. God, right. So, but I don't know if he created so, the universe. No. Right, okay. You know? By definition, creator means someone who creates things. Yeah, of, okay, of course, now. of course, yes. So Allah created, so Allah is saying, I am the God, yeah. and I create everything. Yeah, yeah. And including your own admission, Jesus yeah. Christ is a creation of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So therefore, there is a degree of separation here. Yeah. Creator and a creation. Yeah. We see, as Catholics, we see Jesus Christ as a reincarnation of God. Yeah. What they say there is a son, he yeah. came as Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So that's why Jesus Christ for us is also right. God. So when you say God, do you think God comes to creation as a human form? Are you saying that? No, that one, look, to be honest, I need to sit down and think as well, because yeah, yeah. you're asking me questions that I never, no, never it, really think. The reason why you, I'm saying... Uh, you have studied more than me. This, so no, it's, it's to, not about study. No, look, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you why. Some yeah. of the things are common sense knowledge. Yeah. And some of the things is a scriptural knowledge. For example, how do I clean myself? Yeah. How do I worship? All those things we need to know from scripture. Yeah. But knowing God is instilled with humankind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... How do you know God is all-powerful? You already know that God created everything. He must yeah. be all-knowing. Yeah. God, uh, everything we see, the, uh, the reflection of knowledge. So God must be all-knowing. Mm. So these are the things, knowledge embedded within you. Yeah. So what I am saying, you don't need a scripture to tell you there is only one God. Yeah, yeah, no. So this is the fundamental principle. Uh -huh. So if you agree with Islamic proposition, yeah. which is in line with your rational faculties, yeah. then an imposed belief has yeah. telling you, no, don't follow your rational reasoning. Mm. Go with the book, and which is okay, contradictory to no, the notion. For me, there's only one God. Right. Muslims call him Allah. We call him yeah. uh, Jesus Christ or another name. Uh, the Jews call him in a different way. But for me, there's only one God. But and people call him. In now, now, in order to be that one God, yeah. your concept of God is not one God alone. Because uh, you're bringing Jesus Christ. No, you're bringing Trinity as well. The Holy uh, Spirit as well. Okay. So what we are saying is your own admission that Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ mm. both have been created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If something, you know there is a test you can apply. Uh -huh. I'll tell you one test. Uh -huh. Chapter 112. Uh -huh. There is a term called Asamat. Okay. Asamat something means eternal. Okay. So eternal means something always exists. Mm. If something starts, it cannot be eternal. Okay. Right. So God's attribute is eternal. Yeah. So Jesus Christ was not eternal because in one point he started his life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So therefore we cannot apply that he is God. In a way, yeah. Right. Not mm. in a way. It's a yeah. clear. Yeah. I, I said you don't need a scripture yeah. to know God. Yeah. Scripture actually comes you, confirm you whatever you are holding. Yeah. So you believe that, okay, there is only one God. Yeah. And you know what in Quran said, mm. Allah revealed this word, Kul yuha ilayya annama ilahukum ilahum mm. wahid. I have, so basically paraphrasing this, so God revealed the information, there is only one God. Yeah. So, it has been a confirmation. Yeah. Why it is a confirmation? Mm. Because the, the knowledge has been instilled with you, this oneness of yeah, God, yeah, yeah. within your reasoning, within your, uh, we call it fitra in Arabic. Yeah, okay. So, now, question going back. No, two questions, but of course, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to speak, but I need to go I, somewhere, I tell you, Here, please. I tell I'm you coming what, from work. Yeah, I tell you why we need... I find interesting the yeah, conversation. Do you know why I say, mm. why we are doing this? Why mm. we are asking, why make a separation between Jesus Christ yeah. and oneness of God? Yeah, yeah. Because, so that your salvation can go to the right direction. Imagine, the brother mm. gives you money, mm. and you start thinking, this cycle. Yeah, yeah. Is your gratitude going to the right direction? It depends if the cycle takes No, no, no. The cycle me. didn't give you nothing. Yeah. And the guy giving you everything. This is my no, brother. The brother gave me money for me to but buy a bicycle for me to go No, to no, no. Don't make it up. I'm giving, a, <laughs> I'm giving my analogy, not your analogy. The brother giving you 100 pounds. Mm. And let's say someone is here. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. give you nothing. You never seen him. Okay. You start 
showing gratitude for that hundred pound to this person. Is that fair? No, you have to show to this man. Then we need to identify God so that our worship can go to the right direction. Yeah, yeah, Otherwise, yeah. you will be asking a wrong object to help you. So when you pray, yeah. you will you will you will be praying to a misdirection, and that direction will never be able to help you. Why? Because wash your worship will not directed in the correct way, brother. Me and you, I want to have I want, I want to carry on this conversation with you. Shall we catch up next week? We we'll catch up um, next week. You know what? Let me give you one thing. Let yeah. me give you a copy of the Quran. Okay. And I'll give you some two. Two information, yeah? yeah? Two basically small booklet. It talks about why Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. Okay. You understood the oneness, which is the main concept, right? Okay. And the second main concept mm -hmm. is believe in the Prophet Muhammad yeah. as a final messenger of God. Okay. And there is a test you can perform. It's oh, yeah. a litmus test. Okay, okay. Either he's a liar, either he's deluded, okay. or he's speaking the truth. Okay. This book will give you a clear idea, idea that why Prophet Muhammad is a mercy for mankind. Okay. Why he is a messenger for us. Okay. He was not sent for children of Israel, but he was sent for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. all other prophets and messengers sent for a specific community. Okay. okay. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent sent for entire mankind. For everybody. Everyone. Okay. Because Jesus Christ, he said himself, eh, yeah. I was sent for lost sheep of Israel, not for all over the world. Mm. And he was clearly signaling there is someone else coming who will teach you yeah. the God's commandments. Mm -hmm. So. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi is the final, the fulfillment of all the prophets. Okay. And this is what we believe about Jesus Christ, okay. about his miraculous birth, okay. about what we believe in Trinity. Okay. And Allah said, do not, do not say three. Mm -hmm. And do not exaggerate, your, uh, exaggerate in your religion. Okay. Do not exaggerate in your religion. Okay. Do not say three. Say one, Allah is only one. Only one, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, and then talks about uh, like virgin birth of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And about Mary's purity because uh -huh. Mary's... Uh, and, yeah, and virgin Mary. Yeah. Virgin Mary. And talks about the one message. What is the one, this message? Mm -hmm. The message is worship one God. Okay. Abraham never worshiped triune God. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. If we have a dispute, we go back to our predecessor. Uh -huh. If you go to two steps back, Abraham uh -huh. was way before Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, if Abraham worship one God, uh -huh. then worship in Trinity is something wrong and something invented. It wouldn't be unjust on God's part to, exactly. to completely change exactly. you know, all the prophets and messengers from Adam yeah. to Noah, Abraham, Moses, mm. that you know, they strictly mention the yes. oneness of God, yeah, yeah. that God is not a man. Yeah. And yeah. all of a sudden, 3,000 years later, yeah. God will all, all of a sudden get, put confusion in people, yeah. saying that he came down as a man yeah. or three gods in one, yeah, three, yeah. three persons yeah. in one God. Yeah. 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 Because this is not, un this is not just. Yeah. Yeah. Because why would the prophets and messengers, they came with this one message consistently yeah. for thousands of years, and all of a sudden you have someone called Jesus Christ, yeah. who you claim to say that he, is he was God. Yeah. This doesn't, it, why would God confuse us like that? Mm. Yeah. That, that? That's the problem. And, yeah. and, and what you'll find out is that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah. he, he did not come with a new message. Mm. He, he only came here to confirm the message that all the previous prophets came with. Because okay. what happened by the token of time, the message has been corrupted. So now we need the Prophet Muhammad to be given the final revelation of the Quran to restore, to restore the original teachings of Jesus. And if, in fact, even if you look at like the history of Christianity, in mm. fact, the early Christians well, mm. never believed in the Trinity. They never believed Jesus is God. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. by the passage of time, because of the Greco-Roman yeah, yeah, mythology, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the Trinity was, estab uh, was established. Yeah. But that, that, that's, that's, I want you to think about that because it doesn't make sense. Moses came with that same message, worship God alone. The hero Israel, the Lord, that God, the Lord is one. Jesus says, hero Israel, the Lord, that God, the Lord is one. There's no confusion. What the confusion took place is up when Jesus ascended up. That's when the confusion took place. Now, you know, Greek Roman mythology is now incorporated. They use Jesus okay. as, a, as, as a figure. Yeah, yeah. So what we say is we Muslims, what we invite you is come back to the religion of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come back to the religion of Jesus, which is he submitted himself yeah, yeah. to one God alone. Yeah, yeah. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he came to continue that message. Okay. And what's amazing is that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that Jesus and myself are one brother. Different mothers, but one brotherhood. Which okay. means they came, they came with one message, one religion. Okay. One message is worship Allah alone. He was unlike his creation. Yeah, yeah. Don't associate partners with him. Don't worship the creation. Don't worship Jesus, Muhammad, any of the prophets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and one way of life, Islam, which means submission. Okay. And Abraham was not a Jew, nor was he a Christian. Christian yeah, 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 yeah. So what religion was he following? Yeah. yeah. Islam. Because Islam, Islam means submission. Islam. Yeah, yeah. That's what we are. What, that's, that's, this is that's a serious message. message. Yeah. You need to look into it, my brother. I'll read. I thank you very much. Have a lovely evening. Have a good evening. Thank you very much. Carry on. Have a good evening. Yeah. Have a good evening. I'll, I'll catch up with you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Next week. So, uh, subhanAllah. Um, so, I have spoken to this brother and um, we talked about the, uh, the rational angle that the concept of God in Islam. And many of the brother may have some issue with immaculate conception, but we do not believe the immaculate conception the way Christian belief. Because immaculate conception actually originate from the original scene that every generation scene has been transferred up until up until Mary's father and where they say from Mary's father through Mary she didn't have any sin and therefore Jesus no had sin so they made it up. But look here is the confusion that in Islam we say Mary is pure. Because the dua was been made by Mary, is a father or mother, I'm sure, in the Surah Al Imran, mother, that Allah make my generation safe, right? Not touched by shaitan. So Allah has fulfilled this dua according to Surah Al Imran. So, in that understanding, so we do not believe the scene has been transferred up until the point before uh, Mary. So, therefore, uh, the immaculate conception we cannot understand because it has a lingering issue with conception of the sin. But what we say is, they were pure, it does not necessarily mean that they become God or they, are, they have an attribute of God there. So this is what we need to clear about it. So we do not agree with their understanding of immaculate conception. But clarification here, we believe Jesus was born uh, without any male intervention and Jesus has no father and he has a miraculous birth he is speaking to the cradle of uh, his mother he said Qala inni atani so he clarified all those issues and, and I think uh, in chapter 33 26 uh, if I open it let me open it because it talks about the dua uh, okay let me yeah so basically let me read out because I don't want to okay yes this is the crux of the matter so the Imran the wife of Imran, which is Imran, is the father of Maryam alayhi salam. Said, My Lord, indeed I have placed to you what are in my womb. Consider for your service. So accept this from me. Indeed, you are the hearing and the knowing. But when she delivered. That, that, that's it. I have named her Mary. And I seek refuge for you and your descendants. Yes, Imran. exactly. Oh, so you are correct. Yeah. So this is, this is the correct track. So I have named her Mary. And I seek refuge for her in you. Her descendant from Satan and expelled from mercy of God. So, our understanding, Brother Rahan, is, and for the viewers, inshallah, um, that this is the dua that uh, Maryam al-Islam's mother done so that uh, the, the, the Mary and her descendant can be stay away from or not touched by Shaitan. Shaitan, which, shaitan, yeah, shaitan right? yeah. So this is a fulfillment. This is what our understanding from the Quranic understanding, Islamic understanding. So we do not believe immaculate conception like just you also inform me about that. We do not carry the sin. No, no, absolutely. No. no. So we don't say Adam is a sinner. No, no. He, 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 yeah, he committed no, for did, out of forgetfulness. Inherit sin, exactly, inherit, yeah. yeah. So out of forgetfulness, he made the mistake, but then again he said, Adam kalimatin So his sin has been Forgiven, yeah. and then every children born is fitra. Yeah. That means we do not have a negative account. Correct. correct. Khair, brother Rahan, you know, you given me a nice point <laughs> no, 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 off the camera. Barakallah anyway. Barakallah. Any other point? Did yeah, I miss it? Yeah, no, no, no. Alhamdulillah, you, you explained it very well. Um, now it's important to make a important distinction between immaculate conception yes. and the virgin birth. Yes. Immaculate conception is a theological belief of the Christians that uh, Maryam, uh, alayhi salam, carried the original, uh, did not carry the original sin. When, uh, when she gave birth to Isa alayhi salam. But in the first place, we don't even believe in the original sin anyway. We don't yeah. believe that. We, we believe the original sin, forgiveness, animals. original goodness. Exactly. Yeah. But we, what we do affirm is the miraculous birth of Isa alayhi salam. Yes. So I think now that I think the Muslims are confused yeah. between immaculate conception and virgin birth, like they are synonymous. Yeah. But actually one is a theological uh, belief that Mary did not carry the original sin, which obviously it, it doesn't even make sense. We as Muslims, we don't believe the original sin that we carry the sin of Adam alayhi salam, okay? Um, and the virgin birth, which is a historical account 
of the Americans. Yeah. Peace, exactly. And also, you mentioned about you, you know, the hadith about about that conception that Mary will be pure and Isa al -Islam will be pure as well and yeah. Satan will not touch them. Yeah. And the hadith also affirmed that as well, along with the Quran as the well. Quran so I hope this will be clarified to everyone, inshallah. Jazakallah khair, make dua. Assalamu alaikum.